position side where you buy options. Um, because from a high price, always if you sell it, you will participate from a higher price. And if it's considered as cheap, you should uh, be on the buy side. So implied volatility, it's also information what you find here in your option trader. And open interest um, is this field what we see here. And it will help you um, to understand which are the prices or maybe also the expiration dates where you, most people um, bet um, and yeah, where it should reach in the next um, days. So we also follow like some institutional um, um, money because we see here in the open interest and in the volume um, what people trade the most. For example, today, there are a lot of bets here in this June um, 19 call option, already 1,140 um, call options with the strike price of $11 world board. And the open interest is also quite high, it's 18,700 um, open positions. And yeah, at the moment, American Airlines is even above this uh, price so it's called in the money so these are the informations uh, which we will also um, need and use here in um, the option trader so these are the topics for my um, first slide first unit and now um, i want to yeah, explain you how it's uh, working with rolling options guaranteed stop and um, collecting premium on an existing position and as we are already familiar with our american airline and i also have here in a paper trading account in a position for american airline um, what you can see here with the green line i bought it um, yeah, um, around 12 dollars and now i i'm losing um, or i'm in not in uh, i'm a little bit in loss um, i need to check this position just a second so portfolio we have american airline our average um, price here it's 11 dollar and 83 cents so if you say okay i can wait till it's going above this price and i can sell it this is the easiest way um, as you only um, a stock trader um, there's no other chance, I guess, to um, do something with the position. But if I say, okay, for the next four days till Friday, um, I also want to get some premium if it's um, going higher than $12. So I can select, or we can do it also for the next three weeks. I can select um, a price where I want to sell my um, 100 um, American Airline um, shares. And maybe with also a little bit of profit, what means like 20 cents or 17 cents because if i bought it at 11 dollars 83 cents and i want to sell it to 12 dollar i will also get a small profit from the um, shares itself but the premium is 60 cents um, always like i said multiplied by 100 so if you calculate um, for three weeks what you get on a return of investment it's um, 60 cents divided by $11.83. So for three weeks, you get a return of investment on this um, option of 5% uh, of your investment. So 5% extra income only with the revenues of an option. The disadvantage, you have to sell it then for 12 um, because you choose to sell it um, for 12 if I sell this call option here. So um, it's called covered call. But if I realize, okay, American Airline in the next um, next week, it will perform a little bit better, I can also roll the option um, and make it to a higher price, for example. And this might be, let's say maybe one month later in June and July, I get the same premium. It was around 60 cents, what you can see here on $14. So to just um, hire the, um, or change the expiration date, what's the time value? I make it like four weeks uh, longer from the expiration. I can um, go up to $14. So I have a um, higher exit for my stock position. And that's only because I roll my position. So rolling um, for covered calls, you can do it also for short put positions, will help you to get 
better entry or exit prices and um, still you can collect premium from this so really covered call for existing positions and like if you want to open positions i also would recommend um, short put or put writing how it's called in a lot of books for opening positions if it's the minimum of 100 shares this is always the basic fact what you have to um, check if you want to trade less than this then option trading is something what you should exclude because um, as i said earlier this is not possible so i think or i hope um, this was um, something um, what was getting a bit clearer here in the presentation I will also show you later where we have more information or how you can maybe study this uh, to get a deeper knowledge or to really use it. And um, yeah, what I said with all these numbers here, delta, gamma, um, theta, um, it looks always a little bit difficult at the beginning, but I think it depends all only on the way of teaching or on your teacher, of course, if you remember in school, if you've got a good teacher for maths, it might be a little bit easier than with someone who couldn't explain it the way you might understand it. So um, for the options is the same. If you start step by step with the basics uh, for the beginning and you will not trade like highly sophisticated um, strategies like Iron Condor or something, what might be not so easy in chance risk uh, ratio or chance risk analysis, it's uh, it's really something you should consider uh, when you already are a stock trader. And the last thing um, on this last um, slide was how to um, set up um, a guaranteed stop. We bought um, American Airlines for $11.83 on a Friday, I guess, or Thursday was it. So if I just want to make sure if it falls uh, below six, so I don't want to risk more than 50%, I can buy a put option um, on $6. Um, yeah, with expiration day, it will cost me something. But um, for example, we see here between 19 and 28 cents, um, I have to pay for this put option on American Airline. Um, but it will make sure it doesn't matter what happens with American Airline if it's going down to three dollar, my maximum loss will be um, six dollars, or um, I will sell my stock position on a price of six dollar because this is called um oh, this is um, you have the right to um sell your um stock position on a price uh, which you choose here um on a put strike price overview and um yeah if you don't have the position um you have to sell short um, um american airline on on this um, six dollar strike price but normally um, for long-term investors and really worst case scenarios uh, should be covered by a thing like this um, where you can really make sure um, that there will be not a big um, um, a bigger loss but mainly um, to make it short option trading is not used for this um, but it's a way um, just to show you how powerful this are um, to make sure you have a guaranteed stop you have to pay a little bit for it but uh, it will just lower your risk in um, yeah really bad conditions um, when something will happen overnight or where your normal stock um, stop will not work for example yes yeah, so these are the main things um, from this slide and as we already spoke about it in the beginning of course there's also um, ways how you can um, um, study this or get like a deeper knowledge um, in stock trading at all. I mean, if you watch this video on YouTube and you already subscribed to our channel on the right hand side below, then you might um, have the information about other option seminars, which we will present here for free and all um, things which are related to the trader workstation, trade station or to option trading. Um, but for beginners or even some people who started to, to think about option trading, I, I would recommend our option trading um, video tutorials. If you go to our website and you will go to the section seminars and webinars, you will find um, option trading. And there you can choose between uh, beginners and advanced. You can also download um, the content, um, the overview of all the details which we will present. 
And of course, it will go much deeper in all the facts what I showed you just now in a very short um, webinar. Um, you will also get access to Trader Workstation or Trade Station if this is needed, um, but it will give you an overview about long call, short call, long put, and uh, short put, what is the basics for the credit spreads and how to select strike prices. So all these things, and we made it as a video tutorial so you can stop watch it again from the beginning and uh, try to do the same settings with some uh, with these two platforms, Trader Workstation or TradeStation, um, what makes it easier for you to understand and to repeat it. And at the end, if there's any question, we will also do a one-to-one -one, uh, webinar. And uh, like I said, you will find this all on our website in the section seminars and webinars and then under option trading. Yeah, and if there's any other question or anything um, you would like to ask us, please feel free um, to contact us um, um, via email or with my phone number or um, on our website. You have also a um, section for contact us. And um, yeah, just subscribe to our um, channel if you like the video and uh, we are happy to uh, um, present you some more information related to stock option trading in the next weeks. Um, the next dates for our live webinars you will also find on our website um, and we are happy for every feedback. Um, so I would like to welcome you to one of our next videos or webinars.